Hello, welcome to Telcoma Technologies. So here we are going to start with a new course series that is named as Distributed Antenna System. So here in this course, we will learn what is a DAS system, like what are the components that are used in this particular system and what is the in-building DAS and what are their use cases and the many more. So let's start discussing about its very first chapter. So here the very first chapter in Distributed Antenna System course is introduction to distributed antenna system so here in this course uh, in this chapter we will discuss about the what is a DAS system then we will discuss about the distributed antenna system mission and their forum and then we will discuss about the history of distributed antenna system so let's start discussing about the very first that is what is distributed antenna system so here according to the distributed antenna system forum the definition is as follow here a distributed antenna system is a network of specially separated antenna nodes that are connected to a common source with the help of transport medium and it provide wireless service within a geographical area or a structure so it means there are many separated antennas nodes that are commonly connected to a particular source and through a transport medium that system is known as a distributed antenna system so here there are two type of distributed antenna system the first one is the indoor uh, distributed antenna system that is designed in a building and outdoor distributed antenna system is a system that is designed outdoor so here this diagram is showing a basic DAS structure so here you can see that this is a building and this uh, this building has a common this one is a common uh, signaling source or an antenna that is providing a signaling to this complete building and here this is antenna is distributing RF frequencies through this transport medium and then these signal sources are used that are used to amplify the signal or repeat the signals and this signal source then distribute the signal in each floor of the building through the different antenna nodes so in this way the distributed antenna systems are designed indoor next is here in DAS the transmitted power is separated among several antenna element and here a single antenna radiates at high power is replaced by a group of low power antennas to cover the same area so here antennas are separated in space which provide coverage over the same area as a single antenna and this system reduces total power and it improves the reliability of the system so here a distributed antenna system is a network of antennas that sends and receives cellular signal on a carrier license frequencies and this improve voice and data connectivity for and user so let's discuss about the distributed antenna system forum mission so what is the mission of the distributed antenna system forum so here the distributed antenna system forum is a membership section of PCIA that is the wireless uh, in, that is the wireless in infrastructure association and it is a board based uh, organization so it is a dedicated to the development of the distributed antenna system components for the nation's wireless network so this is the mission of the DAS forum that it, it, it is dedicated to the development of the different DAS components for the wireless network or the nation's wireless network now about the DAS forum, so here the DAS forum was founded in 2006 and the DAS forum is the only national network of leaders that are for that are focusing exclusively on shaping the future of DAS. So here it provides solution to the development of wireless services in challenging environment and here the distributed antenna system forum membership include all the major outdoor distributed antenna system infrastructure providers as well as major carriers, the equipment manufacturers and the professional services firms. So these, this is about the DAS forum. The next is the history of the distributed antenna system. So firstly the fiber was used to carry RF signals to discrete modules in the early phase array radar system that is designed in 1970 and then the CLA proposed a commercial antenna system in an IEEE paper in 1987. Then a distributed antenna system network were first introduced in late 1980s with the advent of a optical fiber that is installed as a transport medium. 
Then Allen Telecom and AT&T introduced a commercial analog fiber distributed antenna network in 1989 and here the ADC introduced an outdoor digital distributed antenna system network in 1993. So today distributed antenna system networks are deployed across the country. So this is the history of the distributed antenna system. So this diagram is showing a difference between the micro site and the distributed antenna system site. So here this particular site is the micro site. So the micro site consists of a 200 feet tower with multiple equipment like it consists of a public switch telephone network. Then these are the carrier switches that are used to carry the signaling to this particular antenna and back to in, back from this antenna to the PSTN network. So this is the macro side system whereas in the dash side it requires a 40 feet light poles with a 1 BTS housing multiple carrier equipment. So this is uh, it is requiring 1 BTS that is having a multiple carrier equipment in in, in between and these uh, and the antennas are the dash antennas are installed over this light poles. So this is a distributed antenna system site and this is the micro site system. So this is the difference between the micro site and the distributed antenna system site. So this is all about the introduction to distributed antenna system. Thank you.